Hello and welcome to the finale of Capture the Flag Across Japan. By the end of this episode, one of these two teams will be crowned the winner of this season. The game was meant to be played in three rounds, but we ended round three in a tie. Both teams have three points, meaning for the first time in jet lag history, the game all comes down to a tiebreaker round. So here's how the tiebreaker works. We placed seven flags around Tokyo, fair game for either team. The first team to successfully return four of them to Tokyo Station wins. The whole map is a no man's land. Players can be tagged anywhere at any time. If a player is tagged, they drop any flags that they're holding and freeze in place for five minutes. Because of all the new complications, we've also simplified. There are no more coins, no more challenges, and no more towers. It's all going to come down to pure strategy, luck, and speed. So without further ado... Okay. Roll. Oh wow, that's all I can. <laughs> all right, jet laggers. It all comes down to this. We have three hours on the clock, seven flags across the map, first to four wins. Ready for this? All right. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. All right, Scotty, you always go on the wrong side of the camera. Okay, Ben. Okay, I think, we, I think go, we should go. One of us, one of us should go north, one of us should go south. Well, yeah, there's there's not as much south though. I'm gonna go north to this guy. I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go south. Okay, Thank sounds you. good, sounds good. There's this one north. Maybe I should go run for that because I could run it back over the line. Okay. What do you think? I think that sounds good. Are we gonna try and play any defense right now? I mean you could you could play defense. Do you think it's worth you playing defense at this point? Seeing how that works? I think so. You, you could base go. Well, you can wait here and see what they do in five minutes. It's, it's worth trying both strategies. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll and get a sense nothing. of which works, yeah. It's all target bet. Yeah, see ya. I'm gonna try to do K into Huko. To Omiya. K into Huko. Here we go. Yep. I don't see anybody getting on this. Okay, 712. Tracker's just turned on. Where are they? I think Adam's on my same train. Oh shoot, is Sam on this train? It looks like Sam's on this train. I haven't seen Sam or Scotty yet. This is me. Oh. I forgot it's rush cover in Tokyo. It's gonna be cozy. We're going down to Shimbashi Station and then we're transferring to a metro. Um, I haven't really even taken metros much yet, so I kind of don't know how to do that, but we'll figure it out, right? Okay, so Ben has gone south. Oh, I bet he's going to Tokyo Tower. Let's go there. Yamanote line, right here. Perfect. Oh God, talk about it. Ideal. Now I have to transfer to the Ginza line and ride that straight towards the flag. Yes, okay. Okay, Ben's somewhere near here, trying to track him down and tag him. Okay, Scotty's, Scotty's heading towards me, so I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled for him because we can both tag each other, so I'm gonna have to be as close to me. I'm gonna have to be ready to get him. Okay, he, he got on the train. Figure this out now. How do I get to that train? Yeah, it's rush. Oh, I gotta get on that train. Okay, I'm on the right train. Yeah, same train. Has to be. I think he's up there. Adam was definitely on my same train. I'm gonna try to nab him at the other station. I'm 
trying to see if he comes after me. Trying to stake him out. Where is he? He's out on the street. Just up here, just to the left. He's right up here. We gotta figure out what it looks like. Come on, where is it? This way? This way. Yes. Yes. Here. Okay. He's like less than a block away. I like this spot. I got shields on both sides. I don't even know what's in this thing. There we go. Okay, he's like right here. Gonna hide. Gonna hide back here. He knows I have it. He knows I have the flag, because you have to notify. Oh, he retrieved the weird one. Okay. He should be at the end of this block. Where is he? He's like right here. Just gonna kind of move around, try to shake him out of his spot. See him. I think I just gotta make a run for it. Okay, back streets. Got him. Got him. See you, sucker. Oh, f you got me. I got you. It's in the text. So we must end. Oh, he got me from behind. Damn, that sucks. Damn. Bad freaking start. Okay, he's just getting to the station now, and I'm um, one stop behind him. So as soon as this stops, I'll get off and go chase. Let me just figure out how to get out of here as possible. Scotty's right on top of me, so I gotta run. If he pops out of this train station, I gotta be prepared to get his ass. He hasn't gotten very far. Just do it. I just don't want to get ambushed here. I'm really worried he's hiding behind something. Yeah, shoot. Either the tracker was inaccurate or uh, he faked me out. 
Gotta run. Oh. Ooh, my legs are sore. Okay. I made it to the machine. Please. Okay. Oh. Pain is only temporary. Winning is forever. Okay. Okay, we've got the flag. He goes off so way ahead of me. So I won't have to head back towards Scott. Hopefully we can make it out. Okay, be careful. It's still ambushed. Oh, there he is, I see him. Just gotta get a good pace. He's running. Here's the scene. Okay. I just have to figure out my way back. I saw him, but I couldn't get a picture in time. Wait, this train. Oh, okay, left. Oh. Fuck, okay, let's wait for the next one. I have to hide here. Oh, he's right on top of me. I'm gonna have my camera ready. Wow. Somewhere here. Where the fuck is it? What the hell? Here, found it. Run inside now. Sorry, train. I just can't let Scotty get me. I can get on the strand and bump here with this flex. Sorry, not so. Do not sing. I'm so scared of myself. Please leave. It's not him. Ah, oh, crap. I, I, bet, I bet he got on this train. Dang it. Okay, and this train is going the right way. So I think I'm going free with this. Oh, hi, did you go? It's f. All right, it looks like Adam's heading back to Tokyo Station and I don't think I can catch him, so I think I probably need to take the time advantage to grab another flag. I think I'm gonna go for this this flag. I like the look of it. All right, time's up, let's go. Almost there. A few more blocks. Once I cross this street. Done. Woo! All right, let's go after the next one. Man, he already returned that flag. Almost within the five minute window. Wow. Headed for the subway. Heading up towards the two Northern flags. Basically, at this point, I'm gonna see what Sam does. Base my decision off of that. Here's the station. Heading north. Ginza line. Asakusa.
apparently Ben got the slip on Scotty. <laughs> this is not going great. All right, I made it back. Um, Tokyo Station, flying scored. But actually, this train goes straight back towards Sam, so I'm gonna just hop on it and try and defend against him. Yeah, it goes straight to Sam, so I'm gonna go for him. All right, we got two flags down, they've got none. I'm feeling good. All right, the flag is just over there, I see it. It's really hard to tell what Adam's up to. His tracker's not very accurate. I don't know if he's coming after me, going for another flag. Need more useful info. Okay. So I've decided I'm gonna go for both flags. Which one are you went out? I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get back on this. Continue on, get the next one. Then head back and then that would be four. So. All right. All right, let's get out of here. So me, my son. Exit for UNO Park, yep. Tokyo. Arigatou gozaimasu. Actually, you know what? I should have just switched to going and getting a flag. Okay, I'm going to Tokyo Tower. This is saying I should walk. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I got directions from the wrong place. Because uh, my location sucks. Major cell phone here. Okay. Let's get back on it. Wrong way. This light is killing me. Oh, I need cash, I need cash, I need cash. Okay. God. Okay, it doesn't look like Adam's coming after me, so I think I'm somewhat safe. Okay, Sam has retrieved a flag, but I'm about to retrieve another one, so still has the advantage. How do I get out of here? Exit, you and park. Yeah, you and park, okay. okay. It's like a quarter mile. Where's Sam? Because I think the smart thing for him to do is come after me. I think I need to return this flag, and then we need to go high risk, high reward. We need to go defensive, we need to block them, we need to steal flags from them. I think that's our best shot at this point. Yeah, obviously. There it is, yes. Okay. Coins, coins, coins. There we go, there we go. Got it. Okay. All right, put this in the bag, then let's bogey. Okay. I think the move now straight to the far flag. Let's get there. Naka Mise. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Where's Sam? Says he's pretty far from me. So, hopefully I can get on the subway. Ugh. Uh. 
Adam retrieved another flag. I don't like this. Sam's tracker bubble is just way too big. I'll never know what train he's on, and they're all too crowded. So I'm going back. I'm just, I'm gonna go for a fly. Okay, I actually didn't realize until the last second that I was back, but I scored this. That's great. Oh, Sam got a flag. Good. Okay, we're still in this to win it. Yeah. Oh, I got on the wrong train. Dang it. Back to that same line. I'm gonna go get a third flag. And if I can return those, that's four, we win. But it's risky, because if I get caught, I'll be handing them over. I'm gonna go see if I can cut Adam off. Now I'm nav navigating the maze of Tokyo Station. I'm gonna try to find a train uptown. And Okay, he doesn't know where Sam is anymore. I don't love that. No idea where Sam is. All right, three stops. Just trying to find platform. Oh my god. Oh, interesting. Adam seems to be going for a twofer. Okay, that changes the uh, that changes the plan. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, he has a lot of routes back. Here we go. Let's get out. Get the fourth flag. And then if I can get back, I'm golden. I, I have a lot of ways out. A lot of ways out. Should be just up here, blue vending machine on the left. Oh, this is a temple. I'm gonna be very careful. I wanna be very respectful here. Can't can't go under that, is my understanding. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Here we go. All right, shopping street flag retrieved. If I can just get back safely, that's it. Doesn't look like Sam is near me right now. Adam's got two flags, so I'm just gonna try and box Sam out. Cause Sam's gonna have to go defend against Adam. So like I'm here, Sam's here at Tokyo Station, Adam's up here. So maybe I should get more in between them. How do I do that? Maybe go to Kanda. All right, let's figure out how to get there. Okay, Adam retrieved the flag. Now I need to monitor which train station he goes into to hopefully figure out where I need to cut him off. The problem is he has multiple options back and one of the options doesn't even come to Tokyo Station. It comes to a metro station that's on kind of the outside of the neutral zone. So I need to be kind of ready to run over to that line. And it seems like that's what he's gonna do. Here's the deal, I'm here in Kanda. If Adam makes it back to Tokyo Station with these two flags, we win. Sam's gonna go to defend against him. But if I wait here, I can block Sam from defending against him, hopefully. If Sam comes this way, I can try and get on his train and tag him. At the very least, it should slow him down or make his routes more complicated so that Adam has more time to get back to Tokyo Station. That's the plan. 
Ben is posted up at Conda Station, which is where I was gonna go, presumably to nab me if I go for that route. So I think that makes me think that Adam's gonna take the Metro route. Um, maybe, I don't know. Or it's trying to be a fake out. I'm gonna go on foot. I think there's a spot from which I'll be able to run to either line and hopefully cut them off outside of the neutral zone. All right, this is the key moment. Let's plan an escape route. Hey, buddy. Hello? All right, I have a Hello. few options. Yeah, hey, hey, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a few options back, okay? Now, the trouble is, yeah. I think if I take the most direct option back, he'll be able to identify it easily and get me. But if I go to you, Ueno, yeah. there are multiple lines back, and it may be hard for him to figure out which one I'm on. If I get on... Oh, oh. Oh, Ben. <laughs> I got it. Okay, I'm all set. Okay, bye, 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 bye. bye. Get my jog in. All right, I'm getting to kind of the midpoint between the two lines that Adam could take back. Hopefully I'll have enough time to get to either of the lines after finding out, hopefully, which line he's taking. Okay, I'm going to you on out because I gotta defend Adam there. If Sam goes there and tries to, to block him, I've gotta get Sam. All right, here we go. One last run. If I can just get to you, Ueno. I don't see Scotty anywhere. Yeah, Scotty's off in the middle of nowhere. Scotty's actually down here. He just retrieved this flag and is on his way to return it. That'll put both teams at two flags, which means it'll all come down to this. If Adam can score the two flags in his possession, they win the game. But if I can find a way to stop him before he gets back to Tokyo and steal the flags, we'll also seal the deal. All right, here we go. Hey, you went out. If I can get on this train and it leaves, I'm home free. Looks like Ben went up to you and out. Playing the smart. Okay, what is the fastest way I can get to you? Somewhere between here and Ueno. So I figured out that almost every single one of Adam's routes back went through here, Conda, so I went on a train to intercept him. But on the way, I realized something. They can take a zero-stop Shinkansen from Ueno Station back to Tokyo Station. Zero stops means zero chance to catch them. If they realize that too, we're screwed. All right, well, I made it to Conda. Or maybe I can intercept them. But to be honest, if they figured out the Shinkansen thing, I, there's nothing I can do. There it is. through here, but it does not look like on a local train. All right, all right, um, I'm closing the windows. Very swimming. Oh, yeah. What is this flag? Uh, these are, these are, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it is, frankly, a refreshing blend of sweet and tangy. Let's go see our friends. All right, cool. I got it. Well played. Well played. 
Sam just texted back a frown face. Yeah, he should be frowny facing right now. He said frowny facing she comes in? Question mark. Yep, yep. We're both so happy right now. Well, Japan, this has been incredible. Probably the most fun I've ever had playing jet lag. Uh, I'll say already, I'm sure we'll be back. There they are. Hey, buddy. Congrats, guys. Thank you. Oh. There he is. Scotty Strange well, Parts. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. You, you deserve to win so much. <laughs> you put in the work. Thank you. They, um, they strategized that really well. They, you know, it they was beautiful. Oh. This was an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me on. You were a great partner. This country is amazing. This the is trains incredible. are great. The game was awesome. And yeah, what a great game. You guys developed a really amazing oh, thank game you. for this round. For yeah, this season. was a lot of fun. But here they are. Well done. Well played. Formidable Go opponents. I'm that's really a very sweaty. sweaty hug. So I don't know if you realize exactly how close that was. Right. I saw you and could not get a photo of you. Oh my God. <laughs> and you were sprinting you full did speed. It, yeah. You did it. I you finally did it. I'm so, I'm so proud of you that you ran. All right, gentlemen. Congratulations. The victors of Jet Lag Season 6. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. Well done, guys. I do have something for you. Oh, um, what could it be? What could it be? It, it was actually, for the first time ever, too big for me to carry with me. Oh, wow. Wow. I actually need to call in air support. Oh, my, my God. God. What does that even mean? Just just watch. Here, look look behind you. Oh, my God. What the hell? What is that? Coming down. Whoa! It's a right. thing. Right. Ready, one, it's so two, heavy. three. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. How are you feeling? Tired. Yeah, I, ima I imagine you might be feeling tired. tired, but is there any sort of more specific way you would maybe put it? Um. I think I'm feeling satisfied. Like, uh, this is. Okay, well, yes. Well, yes, and that's yes. lovely, Scotty. That's great. But yeah. sort of, you know, you were on a plane here and, you know, I, maybe you haven't oh. completely adjusted, like... I know what you want me to say, which is that I'm jet lag. Ah! Oh, 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 oh my god. See you in season seven! See you in season seven! Thank you so much for watching for this entire season all the way to the finale. Uh, this season was Truly one of my favorite, if not my favorite ever to make. It was so much fun. Uh, and I hope that reflects in, in, in the show itself and how it came out. Um, we can't wait to bring you the next season. Um, but until then, uh, we are we are keeping up with like our podcast, for example, through the entire off season, um, making episodes every single week for y'all. Yeah, so, you know, like in the last off season, we did a travel tips special. We did a whole game design special where we looked back at how we designed all of the games. Uh, I think that this off season, we might do recaps of earlier seasons before we had had the Maybe. podcast. Uh, there might be, you know, some sneak peeks of what the next season could be. You know, there's a lot of fun stuff on the podcast, but also, don't miss the the wrap up of this season. We've got a whole episode where now that the whole season's done, Ben and I can revel in our victory and Sam and Scotty's faces. We can also talk about how we designed that final round tiebreaker. And the whole thing. And was, the whole thing, It was yeah. like one of the toughest game design challenges it I think was. we've had. Yeah. So like, we're able to look back on the whole season now and do this big wrap up, which you can listen to exclusively on Nebula. And while you're waiting for the next season to come out, there's so much other great stuff to watch on Nebula. I mean, at this point, we should for sure plug Scotty's channel. Oh, yeah. If you aren't familiar with Strange Parts, definitely go check it out. There is so, uh, he he does these amazing things where he like, he goes to these electronics markets in Shenzhen and he like 
buys all these parts and he makes these amazing, like he modifies iPhones to do all these things that iPhones can't do. I love his channel. I've watched his channel for years and I was so I, excited. I remember what, like his very first video was such a good video that I actually can remember watching it like five years ago. Yeah. And it's so it's crazy that we've now done a whole season of jet lag with him. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's super exciting. And he has the, on Nebula an exclusive tour of his workshop, which is amazing. He takes you through his whole workshop. So jealous of it. Shows you all of his equipment. It's like, it's uh, an awesome way to spend an hour and it will make you very jealous. Um, but that's something you can only watch on Nebula. Yeah, I mean, Nebula really is like, the, the entire idea behind Nebula is you have these creators that have proven that they know how to make good content because they've built these audiences on YouTube that really enjoy um, watching what they make. And they've managed to do all of this on like a pretty tight budget. I mean, you never have that big of a budget on YouTube and you have to command the same audiences that can watch stuff with million dollar budgets. So it makes sense that if you just give these creators a little bit more budget, they're able to make stuff that's a lot better, even than the stuff that people already love on a platform like YouTube. So that's the idea behind Nebula Originals. And we have so many of them these days. And honestly, a lot of times it's like, these creators have been wanting to make these projects, but they just haven't had the funding for it. So it's like their dream passion projects. So I think that's why a lot of times, like almost all the time, they're just excellent. Even if it's not the kind of thing that you wanna watch, like. I remember like going into the premiere for The Prince by Abigail Thorne. Um, it, it was like a, it's like a Shakespearean uh, multiverse kind of play. Um, and I, I didn't think that was gonna be my thing, but I went to the premiere, uh, cause I'm always up for a good party. And I uh, walked away, like blown away. It was, it was so good. And I think what made it better was it was actually something that I didn't maybe think I was gonna enjoy. That wasn't really like, the kind of thing for me in advance. Similar deal when I went to the premiere of Night of the Coconut by Patrick Willems. To be honest, I hadn't really watched his channel much, um, but uh, went to the premiere and it was weirdly also like a kind of multiverse thing. It was so good. Like I enjoyed that more than so many like feature films I go watch by super acclaimed directors, but it was so good and it was a Nebula original and you can only watch it on Nebula. That's the deal with so much. Um, so it's really the best ways to fill your Wednesdays now that we're in the off season, aside from the podcast, of course. Uh, the good news is like, it really doesn't take much to get access to all of this um, because when you sign up with our code, nebula.tv slash jet lag, you'll get $20 off an annual subscription, which makes it come down to like two and a half dollars a month. So that's like half of a latte. If so it's you, an expensive latte. If, if, well, New York City latte yeah. is definitely Well, a New York hours. City latte is certainly yeah, it's five but, or more. But yeah, so it's just like, them. don't drink six New York City lattes and you'll get a year of all of this, which is awesome. Um, I think it's a great deal. And all of that helps support the creator since we actually get a portion of your subscription fee when you sign up. So yeah, click the button on stream or in the description to sign up. And uh, we'll see you one week earlier than the YouTube audience for next season. Bye everyone.